Yeah. Welcome back to Free Friday. Jason Ritchie here. Subscribe today for hundreds of free harmonica lessons. And let's jump right into it. I'm on an A harmonica in the key of E. I'm at my mom-in-law's house up in Indiana. We're heading back to New Orleans tonight. Going to drive all night, but I thought I'd get you guys a Free Friday. This is really the vamp. The shuffle vamp, right? Of all the vamps that we can do, right? This is one that just really helps us keep time. I'm going to do my best to teach it to you today. So it's a lot like what we did last week with the Mississippi vamp, this one. But instead of giving each note sort of equal value, we're going to spend more time on the two draw. Additionally, I'm sort of introducing, not sort of, I am introducing the flatted 7, which is a blue note and part of a 7th chord. In other words, the 2-draw double bend sort of has a little passing note on the way down to that 1-draw. Just to put a little bit more blues to get it out of that super pretty zone of just that nice pure major pentatonic just to put a little blues in there I can even get rid of the two blow and Now, but that two blow comes in real handy for exhaling. But I could also exhale on three blow. Wouldn't hurt the tongue block it. That's how I got that jumper on the line that you saw right before where I was exhaling on that three blow to get my air back instead of the two blow. So this is one of those cases, though, where the two blow is going to work out really well. Why? Well, you're outlining a sixth chord and a seventh chord. So you're really getting the best of both worlds. You're putting in something a little pretty and something a little dirty. So let's go over it one more time. The main focus is that to draw. And you can put a chord in there. Right, you can put that in there, but you really just kind of partial cording it. You can tongue block it, you can lip burst it by opening, closing it. So right there, you know, I'm sort of just sliding under the one draw up to the two. I'm like making my mouth big enough to cover holes one and two, and then just shortening it in on two. Now that same thing can be accomplished probably a little easier with a little less slap, but maybe a deeper tone, I don't know, just by tongue blocking. That's the tongue blocking, here's the lip pursing. Tongue blocking, lip pursing. I don't know, it all depends on how you do it, right? But here's the vamp. Now you can see that I can change it up, right? Because really the focus is here. So I can repeat the, the vamp over and over again. And then put stuff inside of there. Could start off something simple, just like a three draw. Right. 
maybe even a four draw. <laughs> Right, it's all about the rhythm. The bop, 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 bop. I'm still a little under the weather <laughs> from uh, from a whole week ago, but uh, hey, I'm glad to be here. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Um, I really like these little vamps that we've been doing the last few weeks, and they've been going good. This is really the mother of them all, right? This is not like, I mean, look, you got the vamp, right? It's just two draw, two blow, two double bend, one draw. Okay, that's the lick. If I just put that on repeat. That's what it is. But what I really want to do is really just be able to go in and out of it by just constantly pulsing. Just a constant, like, pulsating vibe on to draw the root of E, right? In this case, this is an A harp. I'm in second position. Once I can do that, once I can pulse on that two draw, doesn't matter what other little vamp I put in. mistakes in there right and it didn't even matter because that rhythm was pulsating it's just bow, 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 bow. it almost doesn't matter if i hit the lick i want to hit very good or not <laughs> it's about that constant driving force of rhythm if there's one thing that we're learning from all of these vamps right that we've been doing all of these repetitive things is that it's all about about the feel right it's all about that constant driving force and internalizing internalizing that right in here y'all <laughs> that's all on just two draw <laughs> could it's it's just a really really wonderful way to keep time um i remember adam gusso once telling me that he used to walk the streets of new york and play harmonica 
and he would play to the tempo he walked at. Now, I've heard a lot of people, some people pretty influential in, 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 the, in the blues harmonica world, say that they don't believe it's good to keep time with the body. I believe it is good, okay? It's been good for me. And look, if you can keep time with the metronome, with your body, what you're going to find is that your body is off frequently from the metronome. Now, that's a good thing, right? That's just teaching you that your body is off or your body gets off. But if you can learn to sync those two so that your body is rarely off with the metronome, it's almost like having two metronomes. But one is a little human. <laughs> but I don't see any harm. Now, if we were playing classical music or something that changed its tempo, I don't think it would be a good idea to be internalizing those. But I, I definitely, you guys have heard it in all these videos. That foot is stomping, boy. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter what lick I put in. Like, let's just make up one, right? Let's make a lick. Okay, that one. Right, let's make up another one. How about another one? How about this one? That's a good one. Right, that's it, that's it, that's it, right? It's just that constant pulsing rhythm, boy. You got it, <laughs> boy, girl, whatever, man. Um, I hope you dig it. I hope you dig it, right? Because that has, like, been the most, uh, that was the coolest thing I think I ever learned on this instrument, was just how to groove on one, just how to keep that time and groove. And that's that shuffle groove. The shuffle groove is such a big part of the blues, right? Especially modern blues, you know. But, uh, well, anyway. Hope you guys had a good holiday. Um, you know, when we love something, right, we're going to go through hard times with it. <clears throat> um, when we care about something a lot, like harmonica, music, right, sometimes we're going to put ourselves in periods where we're uncomfortable, okay? We're uncomfortable. And... Maybe we know intellectually that growth is taking place, but sometimes it can really feel like we're even getting worse or that maybe it's not fun anymore. And um, what we got to do is we got to we got to push through that. And uh, but I want to remind you guys to be gentle with yourselves. And that means that, you know, if, if you don't sound as good as me or if I don't sound as good as somebody else, I got to be gentle with myself. And I know it's a cliche, but I got to ask myself, do I feel like I'm like I did a good job today? And that good job is showing up for practice, right? That job is showing up for what it is that I said I was going to do. Now, if that goes great, that's wonderful. But if it doesn't, that's OK, too. All right. That is part of this music right it's, it's part of all music but but if you think about blues what is blues it's turning something bad that happened into us into a story that other people can relate to that makes it something good something that we can share in right well when we're studying and practicing music and you might be trying this vamp right now and you're not getting it and you're frustrated and you're you're putting you're going to the slower downer thing on the youtube and you're trying to get it you know, look, give it five or ten minutes, and when it starts to get really, really bad, when that bar starts shaking like you're lifting too much weight, that's what you came to do. That's what you, you didn't come to win. 
You came to challenge yourself. You came to challenge yourself. When we win, that's great. Right? I'm a big fan of the Saints. Saints football, right? What's it mean to be a big fan? Does that mean that I want my team to win all the time? Well, of course I do. I'm human. But would it be any fun if my team was the biggest winningest team in the history of the league? No, it wouldn't be. If we won every single time and any time we had to play anybody, we knew we were going to win, that wouldn't be any fun. And maybe it would be fun. <laughs> but what kind of fan would I be? How could you judge my value as a fan? Now, I bring this up because, you know, these are the holidays, at least in the United States. We had this Christmas holiday, and we just had Thanksgiving, and we're coming up on New Year's. And a lot of y'all are with your family. And uh, there's an old saying that, you know, family didn't, they don't push our buttons. They created them. All right. Well, part of what we do is we love them. And sometimes it's challenging to love people. Sometimes we can be challenging to be loved, right? So we muscle through that. That's what it's about, right? And sometimes when we get on the other side, we can even be privileged enough to give back. And a lot of you guys thank me and you say, thank you for these, these videos. And, and I thank you too. I especially thank Patreon and the people that are, that are giving what they can. And it's not about that, but it, it, it matters to me. But... I enjoy these. People write me all the time. They're like, you know, you're sick. It wouldn't matter if you missed a Friday. And I appreciate that. I mean, I don't know if it would matter or not, algorithm-wise, all that garbage, right? But, but here's the thing. I say I'm going to do it, and I do it. And you know what? Some Fridays are better than other Fridays. Some Fridays are incredible. Some... Some of the videos that I don't think are any good are the ones that do amazing. And some of the ones that I think are the best, they don't do anything. <laughs> I'm talking about hit-wise. It's not about that. It's about me showing up. It's about me showing up. Okay? That's what it's all about. All right? I got to suit up and show up. Okay? And that's what you got to do, right? And we fight through the good times and we fight through the bad times. <laughs> It's okay to exhale too. So you don't have to exhale into two blow or three blow. Just exhale into the air. Please check out my video. It's linked below. It's called Chugging on the Inhales Only. It talks about how to do that. I can keep I can keep that going forever just by exhaling, but it takes a little practice. You got to start slow and be frustrated, and then move through it. Hi, how are you? Welcome back to Free Friday. Subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, man. And I'll tell you, you know nothing of value comes without sacrifice you're gonna have to sacrifice time you're gonna have to sacrifice uh sitting there and being frustrated um in order to get to the times where you come out on top and and you and and you know in the end it, it it's not the it's not the goal okay it, it it really is the process right um alistair crowley said you know he said he was talking about magic, like, right, like ritual magic, right? But you can replace that word with anything. Let's do music. Music, unassuaged of purpose, delivered free from the lust of result, is in every way pure and perfect. So, yeah, man, so practice when I'm not trying to get better. Free from trying to be a badass that easily accomplishes everything is every way perfect. <laughs> yeah, man. You just sit and you do it, right? And you do it the best you can. Look, some of these things are going to come easier to some of you guys. You know, look, if this is something that you like, 
All right, chances are it's going to come easier to you. Now, I'm not saying you need, I'm not talking about harmonica, I'm talking about this lesson, right? If that, if you heard that vamp and that vamp was like, oh my God, this is the one. Well, then that's the one that's going to get, because that passion, that love, it's going to carry you through. That's going to carry you through the bad times. So maybe if it's too much and you don't like it and you're not doing well at it, go to a different thing. Go to a different thing. Just because I put out a free Friday every week doesn't mean you have to learn this. In reality, right? In reality, y'all, you should. most of you guys should be grabbing on the one free Friday and shedding that single one for like a month, right? Or like, or like three days of that and two days of another one, or two days of that and three days or four days of another one, right? But like focusing in on something and getting really, really, really good at it, right? That's going to make it better. I made the mistake, you know, it's not a mistake. I, I've been in the process, right? And in the middle of that process, right? I would spend a little time doing this and a little time doing that and a little time doing that. And, and then that finally bottomed out for me until I was like, all right, I'm going to work on the harmonic minor scale for a long time. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to spend a few days a week really just shedding that and then... You know, if there's other stuff I have to do, I'll do it. I'll tell you another quote. <clears throat> Jack DeJanette, the drummer, the great jazz drummer, he said, the music business ruined my chops, right? <laughs> now, all you guys who are out there who think, you know, <laughs> when I got into this business, right, I thought, well, you know, the reason I want to do this for a living is so I can play all the time, right? Because I love playing so much, I want to play all the time, right? Well, I pretty much found out really quickly that a lot of what I was going to have to do in order to play at all was do a lot of not playing stuff. The music business, right? I had to learn YouTube. I had to learn Skype. I had to learn how to book the band. I had to learn how to do my taxes. I had to learn a lot of stuff, right? I had to learn to work on the harmonicas, right? I had to learn to tune the harmonicas. I had to learn how to talk to people, right? I had to learn how to not be a difficult person. I had to learn how to not drink and drug for me, right? I had to learn a lot just to survive, to be able to play a little bit. <laughs> but say people say, you know, they think you're a musician. They think this is all you do. They think I wake up in the morning, I pick up a harmonica, I sit around and do this stuff. I'm answering emails, I'm answering Patreon messages, I'm thinking about free Fridays, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm calling my booking agent, I'm calling the record label, I'm calling the manager, I'm calling the guys in the band, I'm checking on them, right? There's a million things. I'm, I'm making posters. I'm making memes. I'm I'm creating Facebook events, right? Uh, boy, it just goes. It just goes on and on and on, right? And that's that doesn't even in include practicing, working on the harmonica, right? Playing the harmonica, writing a song, writing lyrics, right? All that stuff's just extra, right? But here we are. Here we are, right? And, and you know, look, I'm grateful for all of it. A lot of the stuff that I didn't want to do initially, that I didn't like doing, that's the stuff that ended up becoming really empowering. Because once I could do it, right, I didn't have to depend on other people. Or at least I could say, hey, listen, you take this because it's too much for me right now. But I know that I could do it, but I'm giving it away. I'm willing to pay you. Some of these guys, like, Tomlin and, uh, and, uh, and, and Liam, you know, they don't even edit their own videos. They've gotten so big, they pay somebody to edit their videos. That's smart. That's smart, y'all. That way they have more creative time to do that, right? That's a great thing. I hope someday I can get to the point where I can do that and I could actually trust somebody to edit them the way they want. Speaking of editing, there's not a lot of editing in these road videos when I'm on the road because, you know, I'm giving it to you from my mom's house. Anyway, mom and loves. Love y'all. Subscribe below. Remember to support the Lone Wolf Blues Company. Remember to support Harp Gear Amplifiers. Remember to support Honer Harmonicas and Blue Moon Harmonicas. I think I already said that. Pedal Pad, Pedal Boards, and sign up for Patreon. There's a lot more free content, blogs, and stuff like that. Occasionally, I even talk about harmonica. Appreciate y'all. See you next week.